the Amazon rainforest, has been around on our earth for almost 55 million years. Just ask your granny. She might be able to verify that. It produces nearly 20% of our planet's oxygen, the lifeblood of every single animal organism on this world, except for a creature that lives at the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea. That survives in an oxygen-deprived environment and blows experts' theories of life completely out of the water. The Amazon was discovered in the year 1500 by a Spanish explorer dude called Vicente, who was also the first to travel around its vast waterways, and probably thought, you know what? I think we're lost in here. I don't know about lost. I'm tired. Why do I have to carry all the equipment? You know I have a back problem, right? <clears throat> The awesome forest covers around 2.2 million square miles and spreads over nine different countries. It mostly resides in Brazil, but does have parts expanded into Peru, Colombia, Venezuela, Bolivia, Guyana, Suriname, French Guyana and Ecuador. Now to those who don't know what a forest is, it's a large cluster of trees in a close-knit community. But in the Amazon, it's a rather large community and is home to nearly 400 billion trees, which there are 16,000 different tree species. And I welcome them all to subscribe to my channel. I just remembered, I have a parcel coming today from Amazon. There are several species of animal life that can cause you serious harm or even kill you, like the black caiman, which is a large croc. Get down, Shep! Strange looking dog. The anaconda snake? Although not a poisonous snake, they are very large and might want to give you a big hug until you can't breathe. But generally, they leave humans alone, unless you aggravate them. The cougar and the jaguar are types of pussy cats, but probably not ones you can sit cuddling on your sofa. They've been known to sneak into camps and take small young children and can do anyone a little bit of damage, if you get near their territory. Even though it can get warm and humid in the Amazon, I wouldn't recommend going for a swim in any of the rivers. You may encounter electric eels, which can lame or kill you by stopping your heart with electric currents around 860 volts. It would certainly hurt and not do you any favours, but if you don't come across any of them, don't worry, the piranha fish can, if distressed, try to bite your hands and feet. But it is very rare that it can be fatal. But splashing around in the water may certainly attract them to your area. Near the water there might be some lily pads. On them you could find the poisonous dart frog. These are very colourful. But don't be fooled by that. One species of the frog, known as the golden poison frog, carries enough toxin to kill up to 20 grown men. So something else that is best left alone. Now ants are just ants, aren't they? Well no, a bullet ant can give you a nasty sting, so painful that some have said it's like losing a limb and the pain can last up to 24 hours, consisting of throbbing and burning. Well if the animals don't get you, how about parasites? There are plenty of them to make you feel rather ill and unwell, or even worse, from rabies, malaria, dengue and yellow fever viruses. It's not looking like the best place for a relaxing visit, but all that shouldn't stop you coming for a visit. You just might enjoy the experience. I'm starting to feel unwell. Why did we actually have to come out here to do this video? Am I going to get some sort of hazard pay? The main danger with the Amazon rainforest is deforestation by humans. Being one of the biggest regions to give out oxygen to produce life, there are vast areas of trees that are being cut down. These have a negative effect on the climate, not just around South America, but the whole of the planet. And now with some parts burning, whether by accident or deliberate, this is adding to a bigger problem, that the Amazon is shrinking fast. And this will have real effects on weather, global temperatures, and all life on this earth. I like trees. Oi! Trees and plant life 
are such an important part of supporting our planet that they should be more respected. So when you're out in the garden, don't think you have to remove those weeds from your flower bed. They are producing the oxygen that keeps you alive.